The Podcasting Dead is available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Make sure to subscribe for more podcasts. And while you're at it, drop us a like. If you want to help support the channel and have access to extra content, secret contest, and more, make sure to search for us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Podcasting Dead. Let's get weird on a Wednesday. I'm Justin. I'm JP. And we are the Podcasting Dead. We podcast about a little bit of everything from the Walking Dead to the paranormal to conspiracies to uh, our favorite adult beverages. We talk about a little bit of everything. And uh, if you're just finding our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking out our Patreon for extra content. But in the meantime, we've got an interesting one here today. Uh, This has been sent in to us by our uh, good friend Corey Andros. He made the suggestion that we check out the uh, Orangeville Squatters. And this was interesting. Now, I'll say first and foremost, we had a lot of trouble finding anything about this. Um, It really wasn't the easiest thing to research. Not saying that if we, you know, didn't have more time to dig into it, we might not. But, you know, most stuff, I mean, like Bigfoot, you Google Bigfoot, bam, thousands of articles. You even Google Skinwalkers, thousands of articles. But you Google uh, Orangeville, Ontario, uh, excuse me, Orangeville uh, Squatters, which is in Ontario, you just really get a lot of videos and random stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's uh, it's almost mysterious just in the sense of how uh, how elusive the information is, which kind of intrigues me even more. Right. So to speak. Yeah, we got most of this information, or pretty much all of this information, from a YouTube channel called Beyond Creepy. Check him out. I think he talks about a bunch of different things. And even on the video where he talked about the Orangeville squatters, uh, he talked about other weird things. Really cool. Check out the channel. But anyways, let's get into it. So we'll tell you what happened, and then we will discuss. So apparently, this took place in the winter of 1998 in Orangeville, Ontario. Uh, which is a little ways from Toronto, from what I'm seeing. So we have this lady that was going out of town. She asked her friend, uh, could he watch over her place while she was gone? And being the good friend he was, he said, yeah, sure, no problem. So I think they, from what I was researching, about the third day that she'd been gone, he wrote down a check on her house. And it was out in the middle of the woods, a little remote from what I'm gathering. Well, when he gets there... He knows immediately something is wrong because just like the old country song, every light in the house was on. So it's like all the lights are on and he's like, you know, of course. Oh, shit. So he he gets there and he kind of before he goes in, he looks around outside and he sees a single pair of footprints that go from the woods to the house. So, of course, his first thought is because it was snowing as I might have needed. I said it was in the winter. I don't know if I clarified it was snow on the ground. Yeah. So a set of tracks coming from the woods to the front door. His first thought is, you know, ah, bad weather, somebody's squatting in the house. That's probably what's happening right now. So he goes in and doesn't see anyone. But uh, as soon as he gets in, you know, he he knows something is up because uh, in addition to all the lights being on, um, the TV is on just with static playing. The stereo is on and turned wide the hell open. There's a fire in the fireplace. And as he continues to search the home, he's not finding anyone, but he's finding more and more that's going on, like uh, taps are all turned on. Mm -hmm. The bathtub is plugged, it's running, and there is about an inch of water sitting at the bottom of it. So clearly, whoever did this was there very recently. Yeah. But upon searching the entire house, he doesn't find anyone. So he turns everything off and he steps outside. This is where the twist comes. This is the crazy part. Right. He steps outside and sees tons of footprints. Now, remember, before when he went inside, there was just one set leading from the woods to the door. Now, the entire yard was covered in prints. Some took off back to the woods. Some made no sense, did figure eights, did circles, just random directions. Uh, It was the same in the front and backyard. It looked as if... He went in, and hundreds of people somehow snuck around him and out the door. Now, I could not find the person's name. I could not find anything thus far. We'll do an update if we do find anything Mm -hmm. on this. But so far, I was not able to find any, like, official reports confirming this, police reports, anything. 
Um, but I'm not saying they're not out there. And if you do know that they're out there, please enlighten us in the comments section. We love this. What we do here is we discuss things um, and we would love to see that. But as of right now, this seems to be just a story. But um, being that someone made a video on it and I did find several different videos, apparently it's a well-known story. And again, it happened in, in, in 1998. So you're looking at well over 20 years ago. I don't know, but a lot of people credit these uh, beings with being like interdimensional, like interdimensional mm-hmm. travelers. Um, and I don't know. I mean, really, what are you thinking? I've done enough talking. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? If it's a assuming legit claim, yeah, right? We're, we're going to assume it's legit. And of course, a very easy explanation is it's just a, a, a fake made up scenario. It's just something right. he did for attention or maybe to scare his friend. So, assuming that it is real, JP, what are your thoughts? Well, we know that it can't be just a, a parade of people stomping around in the front yard. I mean, I feel like, you know, he kind of would have been able to put that together a little bit more easily. There would have been, you know, like distinguishable, like boot marks, you know, like this person's got boots. Oh, there's a Nike swoosh, you know, stuff like that. Unless they put garbage bags on their feet. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be impossible to put a, a prank off like this. The stereo's turned up. Maybe he wouldn't hear it, but even still, just a bunch of people lying in wait. He goes in the house. They get out to stomping around and then just disappear. It it seems a little implausible, not impossible, but implausible at the very least. Yeah, and and the whole radio being turned loud thing is the only part of it where I'm like, he could have been being distracted. But I don't know, just to pull that off, if that was a prank. If or if there were actually people in the house that did run out, freaked out because he mm-hmm. saw the thing is he saw one set of footprints, not mm-hmm. a ton. See, that's the part where it kind of throws me because if it's just a bunch of footprints all together, I'd say, oh, dude, some teenage kid busted up in there, found an empty house and invited all his friends and they boogie woogie it all evening until you showed up and ruined the party. But one set of prints in and then a ton out unless hear me out. OK. Well, no, because it's still you have to have prints leading uh, all these prints. I was going to say, because he walked around the whole house and saw the prints coming from the woods. There's no instance where I can justify how there would be a bunch of prints he missed. You know, so those had to have happened. So I don't know, man. What, what, like, what would you a lot of people are saying that they were interdimensional beings, but what? it's just bizarre. Yeah. And not to mention there was only like an inch of water in the bathtub. So clear the tub had only been on for a couple minutes. If it wasn't plugged, to me, that seems more in line with like somebody messing with somebody. But if it wasn't, it seems like if it was interdimensional travelers, if like say they like just popped up into this house, Mm -hmm. you know, they 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 teleported into this house, whatever you want to call it, traveled through a wormhole, traveled through a portal. However, they get here from another dimension into that house. It's almost as if like an electromagnetic field was dispersed and cut on a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? Because you had the radio yeah. turned on, you had the TV turned on, and it was static. Every light was on. Um, it just, there's a lot of things that seem to have been a side effect of just maybe even, you know, them getting, I don't know, it's just in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. That's what you've seen in sci-fi and stuff. Sometimes when something pops up, it's like, poof, the, it messes with the electronics around it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times that's the case with uh, UFO encounters, extraterrestrial, uh, you know, encounters, things like that. So, it, yeah, that, I mean, that could, it does have all the earmarks of some kind of disturbance, you know. But I wonder, what were, what were the... What were they doing? Like, if they were interdimensional beings, like, what were they doing? Like, yeah. they just they just found some empty house, plotted a course, and were like, yo, we're going to chill in this dimension for a little while, maybe have a nice bath, you know, blah, 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 blah. It almost sounds like the multiplying guy, um, what was his name, from, from like, Marvel and stuff. The guy oh, that, yeah, Jamie Maddox. The Maddox. guy that can, uh, like, turn into a bunch of different versions of him. Yeah, that. But uh, it's very confounding, man. I don't if if it's real. I mean, again, I mean, it's if you have more facts to prove this to be real, please share them below. And I would love to revisit this, love to revisit this with more knowledge. But JP helped me. We both researched and we could not find much on this. We found a couple of retellings of it. I found a blog and Reddit that had been since kind of deleted or there wasn't. The convert it wasn't much about this and the conversation it steered to like skin skinwalker ranch and things like that. 
Do you think it could have to do with perhaps like uh, Native American uh, spirits, you know? I mean, it could, yeah. Perhaps drive someone off of uh, sacred ground, maybe a a disturbance in the space-time continuum to where, you know, he's seeing a, you know, just, just flashes. That could have been the site of like some kind of like battleground or something. And it's it's just kind of like a blip in the timeline. We do talk about uh, residual energy a lot. Yes. You and I, are, I think we both share uh, an interest in that. We find it to be an interesting phenomenon. Just kind of nothing really paranormal or, or otherworldly. It's just where something energy gets kind of trapped in time and is kind of stuck. It's kind of like... Like an echo. Like leaving your handprint on something. Exactly. You know what I mean? You're leaving a, a, a hint that you were there, even though you're not. So like with ghosts, and a lot of times when it comes to uh, residual energy, you know, we, we 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 tie that into like ghosts that are always seen doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Not ghosts that interact with people or move things, just ghosts that are always seen coming down a specific stairwell or ghost that's always seen on this hall or a ghost that's always seen looking out that window. It's almost as if they're just stuck in a time loop. We're talking about this as the lights start blinking in the studio. I'm just like, man, we're summoning these, uh, yeah. these beings into our realm. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've got, <laughs> um, we've, we've got fluorescent lighting above us and I hate fluorescent lighting and, uh, all of them, but one bar one light bar have went out which i'd love because it's not as hard on the eyes yeah. but now this one light as we're talking it's flickering and it's like yes yes tell everyone about me oh geez. which actually we're talking about residual energy which was not go- maybe that's what it is it's a ghost going no you idiot there's no such thing as residual energy we are we're real but yeah. anyways residual energy it's something that because uh, like for instance there's one that i would love to discuss more of but it's really not much of a big discussion, but there is a place in uh, Mexico, and we may have talked about this on a, on a previous podcast, but where a girl supposedly was killed in an accident, an automobile accident. And the site of her death, they say she died right as the ambulance was arriving. Well, if you go to her site and you tune to this specific uh, frequency on the AM dial, you can hear clear as day an ambulance. And it's the most bizarre thing. And while if... One or two people recorded it and were like, hey, this is a phenomenon. You could be like, oh, dude, they could have staged that so easy. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, you're talking hundreds of and thousands of people have witnessed this. There are tons of videos out there. There's a lot. Yeah. And, and the tone is the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's the same ambulance tone. And you and I have talked about the possibility of it not necessarily being supernatural, but wonder if. I don't know. Perhaps it's some kind of residual energy just left by in that moment. Maybe the the sound waves got mixed into the AM waves and just are still bouncing back. And you know what I'm saying? Like there's got to be some interesting possibility that's not quite supernatural so much as it is just uh, really hard to comprehend. You know, law of our existence. I don't want to say law of physics because I don't know if that's really physics, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like certain events, especially traumatic events, you know, things like this do kind of just echo throughout time. They create a certain uh, vibrational energy that, you know, just just kind of stays consistent. I mean, that could be the case at this uh, place in uh, in Orangeville. They know? could be. I mean, I wonder if. Because if you if it was something trying to push him out, you just wonder why was you know it, it never it doesn't apparently it's never tried to push the lady that lived there out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yep. it, it may could be there if they, if they were spirits, maybe they were used to her or something. But I mean, still, if they're friends, I imagine they've probably seen this guy before. Or it could have been like the anniversary of some horrific event. You know, maybe there there used to be a cabin there and some. You know, natives uh, went and, and slaughtered a family that lived there. Who knows? Or a hermit, you know? Right. I don't know. Not that, you know, I mean, that. that I, I'm just saying, who knows? You know, maybe it was a, a native family that settlers slaughtered. I, I'm just saying it could have been something horrific that happened. And now because of some, like, equidistant aligning of the tectonic plates or something, you know, it's it's happening again. Maybe it happens once every fifty years. Who knows? Right. That's 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 interesting. And it could have just been one person. I mean, I like to think that it could still have somehow been one person playing a joke, or not even Maybe. necessarily playing a joke, just trying to scare the hell out of somebody. Like, what if there was one person who went in there and did all of that? Mm-hmm. That's why you saw the one set of footprints. And it could have been a squatter. It could have been a kid. Whatever. But they 
they go in the house and they turn everything on, just being, you know, whatever. And then this guy rolls up. So they dip out when he, when he gets in the radio being loud, he didn't hear them close the back door or, or anything. And then they just had the random urge to just run all over the yard while he was inside. Cause I mean, I imagine his vest investigating took a few minutes. I mean, they said he searched the entire house. Right. Was looking in in each rooms. And I mean, he was seeing things like faucets running and, and investigating the tub. So you probably had a few minutes to run all over the yard and make it look as if there were tons of footprints and then just dip out. You got to be a, a sick, twisted monkey to come up with a, a prank like that, man. Well, but it, it's possible. Well, and it might not have been, you know, it, might, it could have been somebody high on drugs and just was like, I'm going to mess with this bastard. You know what I mean? I, you, you don't know. I mean. I like to look at the supernatural possibilities, but I also like to look at the, the chance of it being very easy to explain. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this one is either some kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, supernatural occurrence or, you know, like we've said, some kind of cosmic echo, or it's just a, a BS story, you know? Right. Someone just making up a, a big uh, guffoon. And I find, you know, that the I've always found the idea of energy to be very interesting because we, we, we've heard that there are these interdimensional beings that supposedly feed like they're like energy vampires. You know, they right. feed, feed off your fear, or yeah. your, you know, sexual lust or uh, different things. Shadow people. We could do it. And then maybe we'll do that next paranormal. That's something I've read a lot about. I'm not when I say I know a lot about. I don't mean like I'm an expert on the matter. I just mean that I, You're you familiar. know, I've, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more familiar with that than I am this story but shadow people i mean that you know the the people uh, report constantly seeing stuff out the corner of their eyes or like there's somebody there they know it but when they turn when they dart their eyes to look at them they're gone right and you know you try to tell them oh that's probably just uh, something to do with your eye the lighting but they they're like no this is different that's i know what you're talking about that's not what this was there was a my dad said and my dad's not really a supernatural guy but he said he sees it all the time yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, that's a phenomenon that goes back to ancient oh, yeah. times. I mean, oh, yeah. That's nothing new. My dad said he sees it all the time. And what's interesting is a lot of times these shadow people seem to show up in a time of, of stress and a mm-hmm. time of um, negativity. And it's almost as if some people, you know, some people speculate it's almost as if these beings are feeding off of your negativity. Up oh, and there goes the light. Oh, geez. That's creepy, dude. That's a little weird. Man. Uh, we're, we're open that door so we've got yeah. some light a little bit. But that is that's awesome. Holy crap! Yeah, maybe we should uh, get away from this topic for a little while, dude. I promise you to the listener, whoever you are, if you're listening long time, and we've you know if you're one of our our, our long time subscribers, you know we wouldn't lie to you, and. Uh, to the new listeners, like the lights just went out. I mean, yeah. easily to explain. I know that the, the same fluorescent bulbs have been in there now for about ten years. So kudos to them, whoever made them for them Gee, lasting man, so they long. Make some good stuff. But was- it is eerie. They're going out, and it started getting intense there. Do you notice that? Which it does as it, as it dies. Lights will do that yeah. sometimes, but it started getting intense, and then. Boom, as I was talking about shadow people, it's almost like the shadow people were trying to silence me. And it was weird, man. I don't know if you could tell because you're wearing the headphones, but like the heat cut off, shut off. Like I hear it shut off just as the lights go out. And that's why I was like, shit, did the, I, I mean, I know your your computer stayed on, but I was like, did we just lose power in the whole joint? Oh man. Yeah. But I like, man, I'm, I'm a little uneasy right now. A little uneasy. Uh, it's yeah. just old light bulbs, brother. But that is eerie, though. The timing of that was impeccable. I mean, we'll probably never experience anything with that kind of timing again. But uh, but yeah, so, you know, a lot of people report seeing these shadow people in times of negativity. And it's almost as if they they feed off of the negative energy that we put off when we're stressed. I mean, that's, you know, and it also could be explained that, well, because of all of the the stress, that's why you're seeing people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your brain could be making it up. So it's always uh, it's always different possibilities. But, you know. Sometimes I wonder, I do love the idea of energy. So it's almost as if this thing's energy just turned everything on. The plug in the bathtub is what keeps baffling me. So the, the bathtub was plugged, right? It was plugged. It had about an inch and of water in it. an inch of water. So somebody had not long turned that faucet on. Like I would I would almost say if, they, if there was no plug in the bathtub that, yeah, I think something teleported into our dimension from another dimension and maybe the energy put off by that or its energy or whatever may have caused everything to turn on. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but the plugged bathtub, or more naturally, I don't know, maybe there's an electromagnetic phenomenon that happened. And maybe it was a solar flare or something that just happened to make all that happen. But the two things that are really hard to explain in that scenario, unless, now hear me out, but, uh, you know, there, there, there's the plug in the bathtub and all the footsteps. However, the one interesting thing is uh, the fact that, uh, sorry, I got really distracted, dude. I ain't trying to freak you out, but I'm. What are you seeing? I don't know. Sorry, I was going to cut that out of the podcast. I was going to cut all of this out. That's weird, man. Hey, we, we've got a, a pick up poster of Queen. Yeah. Um, right outside the, the door here. And uh, I swear there was something in, like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it, if it looked like a person or, and it could just be the angle. I could have moved, but it just looked like there was this mass of something there. And, and I just, now it's gone. I don't know. It's really just something's different. Like, I just know looking back at this reflection in this, it's really weird because normally I got a light shining on me. And now it's dark. And Dude, I want to leave, man. Let's no, wrap this up. you'll be all right. You'll be this all right. This is getting too sweet. But anyways, uh, all right, so the two the two things that are hard to explain in the way is being like just an electromagnetic phenomenon or whatever, the footsteps and the plug in the tub. However, what if she left the plug in the tub? You know what I'm saying? Like she might have taken a shower or a bath and maybe she's one of the, I, know, I actually know some people who leave the plug in their tub when they're not using it just so they don't lose it. Yeah, I mean that that could be a possibility as well. I just It doesn't explain the footsteps, but it does explain how, you know, maybe something happened, which I don't know. Electro I mean, electricity wouldn't have anything to do with turning on water though. I mean, that's, that's a physical knowledge. knob you have to turn. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I, it's it's interesting. I again, and this is we're all sitting we we're, we're both sitting here um you know, uh, speculating. I'm sure the listeners are coming up with theories in their mind and speculating, and it could just be one guy just made up a bunch of BS to mess with his gal pal. But uh, I don't know. It's still fun to ponder. It is, man. And like I said, I think it has something to do with just different things I've heard from remote areas in Canada. I think maybe it has to do with a, an ancient, well, not ancient, but, you know, a, a wrongdoing, something traumatic that happened years So you years think ago. it could be spiritual, or are we getting back into, like, residual energy? Yeah, I'll, I mean, either or, you know, whichever you think is more plausible. I mean, I, I think one may kind of have something to do with the other. I don't know, man. Well, isn't that how, a, like, a poltergeist or, or how certain, their, their, their energy, they're not so much like a ghostly being, like, I, you know, a ghost is the spirit or... Mm -hmm. remnants of a once living being whereas a poltergeist is like energy it's not so much uh, a thinking like for like living being it's like energy yeah but i i think this i think i don't know i think it was some sort of malevolent force you think it was malevolent say that again malevolent, <laughs> malevolent force, God, yeah. that's maleficent uh malevolent she force. Have something to do with it too she you know? she has powers she you know? does um but I don't know, listener, what do you think? I mean, I wish there was more to say on the matter, but it's a fairly short story, fairly cut and dry. It was, and any time you have requests, man, that helps us out because we've covered a range of conspiracies and supernatural topics. And while there are still tons out there that we can do, it always, sometimes you do feel like you're kind of reaching the end of the road and you're like, what else is there really to talk about? Mm -hmm. So anytime you want to, and what we're doing, I'm not saying that we're going to stop doing uh, the the Weird Wednesday. I'm just saying that sometimes it does feel like we're like, what can we talk about that's interesting that we have? So if you got any ideas, I'm really liking doing these situations. If you remember, I don't know, last week or the week before, we did a conversation about this man that had this really bizarre dogman encounter. Oh, yeah. And we retold the story and then we discussed it. And that's kind of, of course, what we're doing here today. So I'm really digging the whole citing a specific event or events and then discussing them you know what i mean I, I enjoy it too man so if you not necessarily have a subject but you have an event you would like us to discuss or to look up you know please send that to us comment it down below and uh, we'll definitely use it but um but yeah i don't know man it's 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 really it's like i said i the rational part of our brain says this whole thing is just a lie unless I, there's some police report or pictures of the yard and even if it was pictures of the yard, I could still be like, well, this guy probably got his friends. To I mean, he could have done it all himself if he had time, you know, Kinda just like to sit there. Circles, yeah, yeah, just sit there and mess with her. I mean, you know, unless there's some corresponding police report or just something to really make you go, wow. I mean, he's he's got his, you know, uh, uh, eyes dotted and his T's crossed. I really don't. I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to I think I'm just going to, you know, say that this one was probably a. 
if, made up story. If this was that show of uh, beyond belief factor fiction, I'd probably say this one was uh, fiction. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm thinking. But again, I really would like to just have a whole podcast on residual energy, like examples and and just kind of explaining what that is because I find it to be so fascinating. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, and if you get a chance, go to Nuke's Top Five. It's one of my favorite paranormal channels on YouTube. And I mean, he doesn't just do paranormal, but a lot of it is. Um, but he does top fives once a week. Great. Just, I've followed the channel for a while. I love it. JP, I've seen it a few times. I think he's a, you know, he enjoys it as well. I like it too. Um, he did one. It was it, within the last two or three videos he's posted. So just go to newest and go back, um, where you can find videos of that whole ambulance phenomenon in Mexico. It was in like a top five list. So you got to kind of like look at the videos. And I think if you go to the description, you'll see. You know, like what's in the video, and just you'll you'll find. Trust me, it's worth watching. It's very interesting. That's yeah, one where I think we've. Stuff. I, that's one where I think we've got some very bizarre, but some interesting, like universal properties attributing to this, like radio waves, mm-hmm. and I don't know. It's so cool. But anyways, uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's Weird Wednesday. We thank you so much for joining us uh, to the. Being that cut off our light while we were talking about shadow people, I'm going to assume you're a shadow person. Um, I hope that you have a good day as well, JP. Uh, uh, Stay away from me is all I'm going to (laughs) tell you. We'll catch you tomorrow on Patreon for a Patreon-exclusive podcast. Other than that, we'll be back with you Sunday night for the last episode of The Walking Dead we're going to have in a while. So check out our channel. Maybe give us a like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, all that good stuff. And we'll get out your ear. I'm Justin. I'm JP. And once again, we're the Podcasting Dead.